I've lived in just about every area of New Haven. How you doing? It's just for some reason I always end up living in the hill. So that's why I said, okay, whatever I'm born to do, it has to be the hill. Housing and food insecurity is two of the major things that most people in communities like this face. But we come together and we make it better. We work here, we live here, we eat here, we raise our kids here, our kids play with the kids here. This is our community. My name is Wanda Perez. I live on the Dwight neighborhood. A lot of people in this area depend on the monthly checks they get and the food stamp and stuff like that. And they struggle. There's Stop and Shop, and then there's also the laundromat that we use. Healthy food costs so much, and that's something that we can afford, you know, because you get certain amount of food stamp. So if you get healthy food, you're gonna have enough food for two weeks. So they go out with the unhealthy food, they will last at least three weeks in their house. We were very, very poor coming up, so we didn't have food. So we had to make food. And at times, the only thing that was in our house was water and flour. We would mix the water and flour and put it in the oven. And that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're so busy worrying about how our kids are gonna eat and what they're gonna eat and how they're gonna eat and is, and is what they're eating going to affect their health because that's a whole nother issue. When you've been hungry for so long, you're eating. We're, we're so grateful to be eating. You, you just don't see anything wrong with it. I don't think we really fully have the education of how we're eating and how it affects us. My mom has diabetes. She now, um, last year, she has um, heart failure. And this year, I just got diagnosed with diabetes. So yeah, there's some health issues in my family. My name is LaCole Floyd and I've been living in New Haven all my life. Food security has been, always been an issue in our community. Hi, this is LaCole calling from the Community Action Agency New Haven Healthy Start Program. Yes. With the COVID and the pandemic and everything that's going on, they have been able to service a lot more clients with the SNAP than probably before, which is great. So clients come in and they want to inquire about applying, we can help them apply for SNAP here. These are resources that was always available when I needed assistance, and if you need the assistance, we can make those resources available to you as well. Okay. Thank God I have a job. But also I was able to receive the COVID food security through the SNAP program, so that has been a great help. If it's just based off of your job, you can't afford your rent, you know what I mean? Um, without the subsidized programs that we do have out here to help with housing and affordable housing, I don't think a lot of us will be able to live, really. A lot of us wouldn't able to have house, be housed anywhere. It's just too expensive and then they don't make jobs to afford, like you know, they don't pay you enough on your job to be able to really live the way you're supposed to live. So you need this extra help from these subsidized programs. The majority of people in power are usually white people. We don't get the same opportunities. We don't get the same raises. We don't get the same bonuses. We don't even get the same pay sometimes. 
But we have to accept it because we're not the ones in power. We're not the ones with the authority. We're basically on borrowed time until someone decides that you're disposable. And that is something that is affecting people of color like myself, because I've been through it. I've been fired. And that right there does so much to your mental. We don't need a crisis like COVID to tell you people are hungry in these communities. You know the numbers, you have the data. Don't wait until crisis like COVID come to now step up to the plate. And on top of that, let's make sure that these programs are stepping stones. Let's make sure that people are getting on their feet for real.